What's up everybody? Pal702 back with another Squonk review. So, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to everybody who tuned into the Budget Squonk series. It was just cool to get a lot of people's feedback. You know, get a lot of comments and stuff. Some really, some really cool people tuning into the channel. So I'd like to just, first of all, thank all of you guys. Uh, I've got some suggestions for other videos to do, which when I get to those videos, I'm gonna call all you guys out. And if I buy really crappy gear, it's on you. So anyways, <clears throat> speaking of crappy gear, today we're gonna be looking at a Squonk mod. It's called the Rig Squonk by Vape Amp. And this is a, I would say it's closer to higher end. It's says, you know, if you watch the budget squonking series, you know, we were talking about 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Um, this device in particular is 130 dollars. So this is what it looks like right here. It is vape amp and of course by rig. So it has a nice little rig right there. Made in the USA. So before we dive down and take a look at this thing, those are some things that, that um, I want everyone to remember. This is a $130 device. This is made in the United States. This has the rig symbol on the side. And for those of you that are into mech tubes, that means something. So without uh, further ado, let's dive on down though. Have a look. All right, so let's have a closer look at the Rig Squonk by Vape Amp. As you can see, the packaging is lovely. Um, this isn't actually authentic packaging, but it did come like this. It was just bubble wrapped with um, some tape on it. Uh, so I just grabbed some bubble wrap out of the garbage and wrapped it up there. I have seen on other reviewers' pages that it did come wrapped in like a a uh, flag that had like the rig and American made stuff on it, but mine just came like this. Um, so unpackaging it, it's really easy. Rip it open like that, and there you go. There we have our, um, here we have our squonk box right here. This is a Delrin box. You have your, your little rig right there. This is the symbol. You know, anyone that's in a mech, so you see the symbol and you instantly think quality. You know, a lot of people see the symbol, and uh, if it happens to be a squonker, you know, that you don't know these guys. These guys, these guys do mechs. But you see this, and you see squonker, and you're like, oh man, this is gonna be great. So yeah, I saw this, and I was like, boom, click, I'm buying it, 130 bucks? Sure, this, it's got this on it, so we're good to go. So it's a little larger of a box. Um, for reference, you know, we'll just throw in, you know, my little, uh, my little Athena. So basically, this entire box is the height of the Athena with the RDA. Up top, it does have a nice uh, Fat Daddy 510 pin on it. Um, you have your American made stamp right there. It's always good quality. Um, I, there's several different colors. I'll leave a link below, um, but they're just basic colors, nothing fancy. I went with the rose gold. Um, I always think rose gold is a very pretty color, so I had a couple of atomizers in mind that I was gonna use with this, um, but she didn't get a whole lot of use, turns out. Uh, taking the door off, you will see inside that it has all of your little don't, you know, you gotta be over 18, um, don't be pregnant, FCE, recycle, it won an award, and then once again, do not throw your trash in the garbage can. These are serialized, so I have number 442. That's a lot. I would love to talk to the other 441 people to have this. Um, if you're one of those people, leave a comment below on how you feel about this, this box and it being $130. You can see that it has magnets right here, boom, boom, boom. Um, this is an anodized aluminum door. It's very thick very chunky this I mean this is a very very nice door sturdy sturdy is the word I'm looking for inside we have your little 18650 adapter um, just a little end right there you can do positive wherever it's a mech so it doesn't really matter but um, yeah that goes over your 18650 and then that's it and then you have we'll go over a squonk bottle first 
As you can see, there's still liquid in it because I this has been sitting on my shelf for like three months now. Uh, whenever I bought it, I bought it, and then I squonked it for, I don't know, a couple of days, trying to convince myself of something that it's not. Um, but yeah, so here's your bottle. I didn't want to refill juice. I didn't want to waste any more juice on this. So um, as you can tell, it's, it's extremely, extremely hard. So, you know, it's one of those just garbage bottles, um, which, I, you know, some people like these type of bottles, but, you know, it's always nice when a company gives you this bottle and they also give you a soft bottle. Kind of like, I don't know, the Athena that costs $50. Um, or they just give you the silicone bottle. But this bottle right here, it's an eight millimeter bottle. It's extremely hard to press. It's crunchy. You will have to cut it when you first get it. So for the bottle quality, I give it a huge thumbs down. Bottle sucks. They don't give you a, a silicone one. It's just their overall bottle. It's just, just not impressive. It just looks like, I don't know, I feel like if it's... You know, if it's got the rig stamp on it, you know, give me something. This is this is nothing. This is the worst bottle. It goes right up there with the worst bottles of all times. Okay, so inside here, this is like okay, this is where it gets like really beautiful, and this is where it gets like really exciting, and then 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 then, then something happens. Something happens. Like God, I wanted to love this thing. Um, so you see these. Big chunky copper contacts. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at these guys. It's just, you know, definitely overkill, but I like overkill. Overkill's fun. Like, I mean, this is, if you're a mech head, you know what I'm talking about. You look in here and you see these copper contacts and you're like, hell yeah, look how beefy all of that is. You know, you got your, your 510 squonk pin coming down here from your uh, Fat Eddie up top, 510. So come moving down like that, you know, it's got your battery connection there. This is where your squonk bottle sits in this tray. Really nice battery holder and squonk. You know how the box is made very nice. I mean the, the inside of this box is really nice. And then moving up, you get up top here and then this is, uh, you see there's this battery tabs is what they call them, a tab. They're very, I mean, they hold your battery very securely. You have to be careful when you use these because they'll chew chew up your battery wraps. Then as you see here, we have a wire, a wire that goes over here and it's crimped and soldered to the 510. So you have this great, wonderful, thick, chunky copper contacts, you know, all the way up to here. And then it's like um, a wire, a wire guys, like a wire. But yeah, so that's that's the inside of the box. You got, you know, big, beautiful, awesome, boom, boom, great, good looking box, Delrin box. You know, um, so sorry, there's a little bit of squonk juice on here. Like I said, I did not want to refill my squonk bottle and waste any more juice on this. You know, the the button is nice. When you put the door on, if you're OCD, the button is off centered. So if you take the door off, you'll notice that it's centered. So if that's something will, that bothers you, a button, I mean, that's the least of this thing's problem at this point. But if that is a deal breaker for you, then I'm just letting you know that when you put the door on, this is not centered. So um, I guess that's really there all is, that's all I can really show you. I mean, it just came with um, a really crappy, hard, crunchy squonk bottle and um, bubble wrap. And then that, eight, you know, this guy right here um, in the bag, I've never taken it out or anything. So nothing else really to show you guys. So we're just going to come back up top and we'll go over my thoughts on the Rig Squonk by Vape M. And that was the Rig Squonk by Vape Amp. Here she is right here. So um, what are my thoughts on this guy? Um, Man, I don't even know where to start with this one, guys. I usually buy stuff and I'm just like, I am I am guilty of being too laid back, too, like, you know, I, if something's, something's wrong with it a little bit, I tend to overlook it or find ways to fix it. Um, and with this one, I just, I literally bought this thing when it came out, whenever it came out. Dropped 130 bucks, cause you know, you see this, this right here and this tells me you know american made this mechs like good stuff and i think you know i saw some pictures of 
of these internals in here, did not see the wire, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna get this thing. This thing's awesome, 130 bucks, boom, sold. Bought it, got it, and when I got it, I built it, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Okay, so I don't mind the size of the, this, the box. Oh, by, by the way, on top is the uh, MCM. This is the Bonsai version three. Killer, killer RDA. Uh, if you look down in my MCM Underground video, you will you can see the full review on this. Fantastic, awesome on a squonk. Um, love this guy. But anyways, back, we're here for this. You know, I don't mind it being larger. Uh, you know, I like big, heavy, durable mods, and this thing is built just solid. I mean, everything about it is solid. But problem number one, I'm not even gonna get into the internals yet, but if you just hold it in your hand, you know, I'm just going to do it right here, you know, you guys can see me. Um, I have it in my hand. I can't squonk this, I can't squonk. I cannot reach the bottle. And even if I could, the bottle is so hard, I can't push it with my finger, I have to thumb press it. But when you look, if you look at this box, the bottle is so recessed inside of this, of this box. I mean, it's, it's back in there like, five millimeters or so. You see how far back it sits inside of here? You can't reach, you can't reach the squonk. You're sitting here, you know, you're due to do. Oh, I need, I'm, you know, it's getting dry. I need a squonk. I cannot hit, I don't have small hands. I can't hit, can't hit the bottle. This is the bottle that came with it. You didn't give me any other options. Um, so what you have to do is you have to turn it sideways in your hand and then you have to take your thumb and then you have to thumb press it like that about as hard as you can in order to get it. So yeah, so you have a horrible bottle. It's recessed so far back in here. It makes me feel like they just grabbed some shitty bottle and they're like, screw it. You know, this one's laying around, let's throw it in there. Um, you know, they went through all the effort of making a nice little stand for the squonk bottle and they don't even have the right size squonk bottle. I mean, this thing sits so far back. You gotta remember, this door is thick. It's super thick. So if this was, if this was a thin door, you know, I can. Well, I still can. I still can't squonk it even with the door off. I can't squonk this thing. It's not squonking at all. You have to. You have to thumb press it. You have to thumb press it. So big fat F for the for that part for the whole the box itself. If this was just a box mod and there's another battery in here. It'd be great minus this situation up here, but so it's the wrong bottle. You didn't even put the right bottle in there. Uh, you put the door on there. You can't squonk it. So, I mean, if, if you don't mind paying $130 for something that you have to turn, I mean, look how far back that bottle sits in there, guys. Now, this is not me being dramatic. This is me actually trying not to get super pissed off on camera. Uh, Cause I feel like I, you know they just slapped this thing together during the squonk craze of 2017. They're like, yeah, let's just get some money real quick. Um, yeah, there's there's a shitty little bottle. Let's just throw it in there. I mean, it's so far back in there. You can't squonk this thing unless you have Godzilla hands. Like it's not gonna happen. So you can't. It's way back in there. You can't squonk it. Um, I don't have a problem with the the this being off center. It doesn't bother me at all. You know, the, the, my other problem with this obviously is the wires. You know, you're gonna go through all of this making these big beautiful copper contacts and then you're gonna run a wire. I mean, why not just run a copper contact across up top? It's really simple. Uh, and, and this is the other thing is people are gonna be like, you know, people see a wire and they're like, that's not, me a me you know, that's not mech, that's not mechanical. And other people are like, yes, it is mechanical. Uh, my opinion on it is technically with this wire in here, it still is mechanical because there's no chips, there's no reverse battery protection, there's there's no you know this is a mechanical mod, but mechan one of the reasons that we love mechanical mods is because they're very simple. There aren't computer chips, there aren't things that break in them. Um, so big solid contacts like this, they don't break. I mean, if they do, maybe with a sledgehammer, you run it over, you get hit by a semi truck, yeah, they might break. But this up here, this wire, that's something that breaks. Wire over time, or the soldering joint, the fact that it's soldered over here, 
that's something that I have a huge problem with. Um, especially when you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have these big, huge, beautiful copper straps like this, and then you get up to this top corner, and, and I just don't understand how you come up with this design. Like, oh, hey guys, let's you'll go through all this work to do this, and then, oh yeah, let's put a wire in there. Yeah, I love wires in my mix. I love them. Have you ever heard anyone say that? No, it's because no one wants a wire in their mech. Does it, does it mess with the voltage? Probably not. It's a pretty decent sized wire, but when's the last time you've ever heard anyone say, I love wires in my mechs? You don't. Anyone that likes mechs likes, doesn't want to see a wire. I don't care what anyone says. You don't want to see that in there. You might not have a problem with that being in there. And, and I, you know what? At the end of the day, I could have lived with this, even with the wire, had this squonk bottle, not the whole design of it, not suck so bad. Like, you just, you, I'm telling you, you can't squonk it. The bottle sits all the way back, all the way back. You cannot squonk this. This is not a functional squonk, squonk box. For $130, I got something for you. Why don't you go look up Defiant Designs, their new DS box or their new TS box. That's $130. Go look, I'll put a link down there, as a matter of fact, to them. If you wanna spend $130 on a squonk mod that you're gonna love, a mechanical one, do it on that. I haven't really been pissed off on camera before. I probably repeated myself several times because that's what I do when I'm mad. But you know what? I don't want to see you guys waste your money, you know? And I don't know anyone at this company, nor do I care. I'm being fair to you guys. If any of anyone from this company sees this review, if you can tell me that you honestly think you can squonk this thing in your hand, you, do you think this is a comfortable, nice design? Um, do you think that you or do you wish that you would have added a Put it in a box, first of all, or at least give me a, another squonk bottle to come with it, a silicone one, and maybe even use the right size, because I did buy a fix for this, guys. I bought a Lost Vape, an eight millimeter bottle, and it fits in here perfect, but I didn't want to change this before the review. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip this thing out, and I'm going to put that Lost Vape nice silicone squonk bottle in there, and it's thicker, and it actually comes out flush with the door, and then I'm going to rip this wire out, and I have a copper um, plate that I'm putting across here. But I, that's something I'm gonna fix this just because I don't wanna feel like I got cheated out of $130. But I, you can't tell me they don't wish that they didn't do this. Anyways, you guys, I'm done. Done with this thing. Well, I'm not done with this, I'm gonna fix it. Maybe I'll come back and show you after I, I, I make it how it should be made. Yeah, so that's it. My pros on it is it's a very, it's a very, well-made device. I mean, it's very, it's, when I say well-made, it's very sturdy. It's a very sturdy device. The majority of the contacts in here are freaking awesome. Um, I do love the rose gold. The, the button is nice. I like the way the button feels. And, and then uh, it's really awesome up until the point you go to squonk it. And that's kind of what this is. This is a squonker. And the fact that you want to put, you know, the Made in America thing is pretty big to me. If you're going to put a Made in America on there and you're going to charge $130 for a squonker, you know, being able to reach your bottle is kind of important, or even having, you know, just throw an extra bottle in there and put the right size in there. I mean, not, just, I'm not even gonna go there again, but you, this thing sits all the way back. I haven't seen any reviews where someone really points this out. This bottle is, it's buried in the box. It's so far back in there, and once you, I can't even push it with this hand. <sighs> oh, that's all I got for you guys. Once again, I will leave links below where I got this. I think I got it. I think I got it, I got it from Brad's Vapor. Brad's Vapor. I buy a lot of stuff from those guys, from him. He's very very cool. Um, awesome customer service. He actually will. He's the one that replies to your emails. So highly recommend where I bought this from. But I do not recommend this. If you got $130 and want to buy, you know, go buy like three of the ones in my budget squonk videos, or go buy that DS. But on this one. No. That's it guys, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everyone, for the new subs, um, for leaving comments below. Like, I love when you guys drop a comment down there. Uh, I try to get to everybody. So with that, thank you very much. And even though I bought something that I might hate, remember around here, it's all love.